It was quarter to six this morning when the police were summoned to the Murphy Homes projects. They found a number of people inside one apartment. All had been shot or stabbed. There was blood on the walls. The back room looked like it had been ransacked. Some people were held in this apartment against their will at gunpoint, knife point. And uh, after a period of time, uh, apparently they uh, initiated a struggle to escape. And when they did that, uh, that's when all the shooting and stabbing took place. After the shooting occurred, two people were able to get out. One ran to Martin Luther King Boulevard, where he flagged down a police car. Another ran to the 1100 block of Argyle Avenue, where that person knocked on someone's door for help. So we heard someone bang the, uh, break, break the front glass. We don't know if he used his hand or some type of object. And then he knocked on a young lady's door downstairs. Then he said, the uh, lady said, who is it? She said, he said, this is the police. So again, she questioned him, why uh, are you, if you're the police, why are you knocking on the door? Then he eventually said, I need help, I've been shot. Police say three people, 28-year-old Michael Stokes, 22-year-old Mira Franklin, and her cousin Timothy Franklin, 33, apparently went to the Murphy homes last night where they knew they could buy drugs. All three were assaulted and brutally beaten inside the apartment, police think, after something went wrong with the drug deal. Then, early this morning, after all three had been held against their will, Stokes apparently went for one of the assailant's guns. That's when all the shooting took place. The two suspects in the apartment, one a 16-year-old, the other, 25-year-old Nathaniel Barksdale, were injured in the gunfire. Police are with them at the hospital. In West Baltimore, Michael Shockett, New Scene 2.